Hey everybody and welcome back. So, in the last episode we've gotten acquainted with a new area, uh, Rhodes. We've been introduced somewhat to the two feuding families, uh, Braithwaite and the Greys. I'm off to go and do a mission for the Greys, I think? Like, uh, yeah, I think it's a mission for the Greys. There's also another mission for Dutch, who's back at camp, so I'll go back and do that later on, but let's go and see what we can do for the Greys. So I think I'm meeting Hosea here. What do you want, boy? This is private property in her lo This here the Grey Plantation? Yep. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. Well, that was a warm greeting. Where is Hosea? Um, let's go and ask this person, this lovely guy here. He seems helpful, not the horse. Why am I locking onto the horse? Excuse me. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. All right, never mind. We're not, this is not the one. No. We meet Hosea at the Braithwaite's, not the Greys. My mm. mistake. Let's go and see Bo. Sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite's. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guard. This is my... But where did my horse roam off to? So I turned my back on that horse for what two minutes. And speaking of which, that those two minutes were what roller coaster of a conversation. I don't care if you kill us all. It's like I don't want to kill anyone. Okay, I love her, you know. Who? Who are you, Audible? <laughs> it's like what the hell? That boy's mind is going a mile a minute. Uh, actually, no, I take that back. A mile a minute isn't that quick, is it? Quick for a mind, though. Especially in this game. With some of the people I've met so far. Okay, let's sneak into... Okay. Alright, I get the idea. Dutch has asked not to shoot up Rhodes, Callagher Hall, or wherever the fuck the Braithwaite's live. I, I understand. No need to keep telling me every time I go near one of the three places. Oh, 
Oh, come on. What are you doing? No, I didn't want it. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, that's awkward. So if you're running at speed down a dirt road, and you want to take a quick sort of turning off, the horse will actually fight you somewhat. Just to stay on the road. That's what happened there, anyway. Either that, or it could be because there's a fence there. The horse didn't want to go near the fence. Yeah, that's, that's possible. Oh, excuse me. Ah, I failed. Oh, well. That's a bit drastic, isn't it? To shoot someone because of... Uh, I suppose it makes sense. Given that it is the Wild West, and if I saw someone entering my property, I'd probably shoot first too. God, I'd hate to be a postman in this day and age. Like, hey, you gotta... Poof. Okay... Can't see anybody. If I just go around... I wonder if that will work. Oh, for God's sakes. This one ain't supposed to be here! You think that fence is up for fun? Get off this property now! What kind of bloody ah, <laughs> it, just, ah. it just fell off him. Uh, okay. Well alright, I might go around. That's that's seems valid. I could I, I keep just trying to go straight, but if I just go round and sneak in that way. Alright, this looks promising. Far oh god. Go along, I think. Past that guy. One guy left. Now is not the time to suffer from fatigue. Wait. Why, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages. Or... Well, I don't know cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are there's something else. Hmm. You got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, okay. will you give this to him? Um, sure. I don't, I don't have to run all the way back. I can just run sideways. Sort of sidle on to, uh... Well, not even like, yeah, just not past the plantation, but just on the nearest fence. That should work. Horse is... Yeah, it's a bit of a problem with the horse. Though the horse seems to be coming. Seems to have cured me. That's good.
If Penelope is better to build. Okay, I can probably do that in another mission. Actually, never mind, that is actually a, the next mission. Um, oh, I can go and see Dutch. Dutch Vanderland. Mr. Pearson or Molly O'Shea? Uh. Alright, let's go and see Dutch. Let's go and see what Dutch wants. No, no, no. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, thank God. No, back, 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 back. Ah, uh, damn. Ah, <laughs> uh, I literally, I guess, I, I panicked. I thought I hit the um, uh, GTA, uh, GTA Online, Red Dead Online button. I was like, no. Uh, I'll level with you. I'm not 100% yeah. sure where here is. Ah, oh, I'm still on the Braithwaite Manor place. Fuck. Shoot him. I, that's, that doesn't help. I suppose if you want to do a 180, quickly. I'll take a like a really big big corner maybe. I could I could be of some aid. That sort of Because the horse the horse it's not like GTA where you do like a uh, a drift and you go you can still sort of drive forward really quickly. The horse stops the moment you drift. Uh, I understand. Oh that's gonna piss me off this. Because that, that message, when the message pops up in the corner of my eye, I, I, I instinctively go to read it every time. And it's just the same thing. Uh, ooh, actually, now that I'm here, let's go and see the gunsmith and see if he sells a Lamat revolver. Lamat revolver? Welcome. Do you have any? Come have a look around. So, what are you in the market for? Uh, uh, moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. Ah, no, he doesn't. Doesn't even have an Evans repeater. Uh... Well, that was shit. Okay. You spend much time in the parlor. Well, house? that guy's a psycho. Every time I'm there, I thank God I'm armed. Every time I enter the parlor house, thank I think, God. thank God I'm armed. Well, don't go to the bloody parlor house then, isn't it? I guess like it's you know case solved. Where do I go? Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name. 
and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. We've been deputized. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald, how are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough gold. being rich, huh? <laughs> Would it still so be I intact imagine. after all this time? Or, you know, still be around? It's bound to have been spent you, if someone did steal it. Yes. I thought so too. But at the same time, both families are meant to be filthy rich, so does it matter? <laughs> I wouldn't go that Will the gold help, really? Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. You see that wagon? Okay, I can't draw my gun. These damn flies! I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. I was here before you, Archibald. Keep your eyes open. Okay, that's disgusting. Well. Uh, uh, disgusting when you go up to it. It kind of no, looks like his guts have been this drawn out. Happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Impressive. You got a keen eye. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. No. Into the carriage. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I suppose he has to get on first, right? Oh, of course. Would you mind taking the reins? 
I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Sure sounds like you fellas got your work cut out for you around here. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. Go right at the crossroads. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Could drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. Bear right again here. I'm sure I would. All right. Shoot out on the bayou. Swamp, whatever this is. It's so like Lancaster in this. Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Okay, so my revolver is called... My revolvers are called Ebony and Ivory. And the Lancaster repeater will be called the Pearl. Those are the names of my guns. All good weapons need a name. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest, our excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Uh, we'll go left. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill. Me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Ah. Remember what he said. I didn't realize we need we to need take him alive. Let's just knock them out. I was just gonna, yeah, I was just gonna put up a knife in their backs and call it a day. See one by the bridge over there? Today is not your day, friend. All right, slowly does it. Don't want to rush. He's not going anywhere, but drunk. Okay, night night. He kind of looks like Abraham from Walking Dead from the back. Uh, how can I tell you? And that's that. Damn it, I can't see his face. I imagine he does look a lot like Abraham. I'm sure, I'm sure the character I'm thinking of is called Abraham. It's been a while since I've seen any of the older seasons of The Walking Dead.
think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so, I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about this. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Dynamite! So, oh, I have to plant it, do I? Uh, I've lit that, so... Ah, oh, cool. No, no. I... Oh, damn it. I should have been in the league of extraordinary gentlemen. Not that American guy. Yeah, it's been a while since I've watched that show, like that movie. I can't remember who the American agent is. Because they're all famous people from history, aren't they? Well, not famous people. Some are famous people from history. Others are like folklores. Or like stories, uh, like Dorian Gray and all that. Or are they all? Like, I don't even know. <laughs> it's been that long since I've watched that movie. They may all just be based off fictional stories. So these are all like the rejects, or well, the leftovers of the, so the Southern Army. Of here. Fine by it me. looks like, yeah. The South shall rise again, on, and all that. Ah, uh, can't believe I've only got nineteen dollars. Nineteen dollars. Must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. That guy did look Come like on, Abraham. You degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life on the land. So stupid. A backwater. So backwards that even we. Are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. 
deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen, these two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean? He says as he gets a, gets a head start. I'm as strong as I have uh, ever been. Sure. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Ah, you bastard. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set, go. We're neck and neck, you cocky bastard. You cocky little bastard. No idea why I'm putting on the accent. I think it's because I'm just winning now. I'm bored. <laughs> we'll I say that now. as he passes me by. I'll fuck up somehow. And he'll pass me by and he'll win. Far is it the camp? It's not that far, surely. Because my horse can't run for very big, you know, much. not at this speed, anyway. Dutch is catching up. And my horse is about to pass out, I think. Ah, I'm almost at camp. Come on, Cindy, you can do it. You can make it. You can make it. It's right there. I hope. I'm, I'm positive it's almost there. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, if he comes racing past me now, I'm going to lose my shit. Yeah. so much <laughs> well time is a bastard when you get to be my age well you'll know that better Aww. than anything be well that's nice i had fun with you so today. what's up you're, what's next i was gonna say you're like a son to me uh, okay but you're didn't, more than that didn't want to say that um so there's molly o'shea uh pearson what's pearson all oh, right no i need to i need to go to town don't i for pearson there's uh Bo. Bo Gree. Bill? No, Bo? I think, I think it's Bo. Uh, right. I'm sure we'll be able to do one more uh, mission before I have to sort of call it quits. So, why don't we do the one for Mr. Pearson? Heard enough of your opinions, miss. Is that so? Yeah. Now make yourself useful. And the first part of useful is not driving me insane with your constant complaining. I ain't complaining. I'm so confused by you this are. law, man. Look. Complain, complain, compl oh. Say whatever you're doing, Will, please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon. I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slap. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. Mm. 
My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming right. with me then, woman? So I oh, yeah. graduated she's, from they chopping de she vegetables She definitely gets up to make Arthur's divs at the start, Such I think. Goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. Now, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Well, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Oh, <laughs> wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> now, what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now, that's Dutch's idea. Should read a man's oh, man, mail, a man's letter, a man's private letter. Some things are just secret. New, Strauss, he heads into town. Doesn't start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! You insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. Wow, so she is very trigger happy. You buy some food to eat. No guns. You're no sure? Gun. Okay. This time, be the icon on the main map shows where the post office can be located. I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Okay. <laughs> That's all done. Head Can back to the wagon. Visit? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. See, that's what I like about this game as well. Like, it's, like, I, may mention, like I mentioned earlier, you get like all the mundane sort of weird little side stuff like fishing and whatnot. And there's even okay. missions where you have to no do stuff trouble. like that. Thank you. Like literally go out of your way to post a letter for no real reason. Well, I say for no real reason. It's 
character development, doesn't it? Because Mr. Pearson doesn't really get much in the way of character development. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. We'll give it back then. Huh. Jesus. <laughs> I know. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Saying that, yeah. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie. Not lady. I know. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I ship. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... You didn't even shoot him off the bloody horse. What are you doing? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right then now? Then Pull over. That's what I said. Hey. I laugh if that that was like a dentist. That was like a captive of theirs who who just escaped. I had him over. here why because you've caused enough trouble already i'm fine hey watch it we showed those bastards huh remind me not to get on your bad side and they was clearly planning to bushwhack us you did good but that's a lot of mess to make near camp hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around are you gonna tell Dutch? oops sorry kieran baby if he asked, but maybe not. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, I've run into them before. Some local gang. Don't seem to have grown out of playing soldiers. Anyway, don't you go upsetting Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. Ah. Won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of boggles. You didn't get yourself You're killed right. then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Like all right. Anyway, um, refined let's call it a day, I think. But uh, pretty much done three missions. I, That's pretty good going. Generally, I only get about two in. Yes, we, uh, I'm also trying not to make these episodes, okay. these, these videos a yes, bit too long. I'm hoping to uh, do them in sort of like oh, half hours. 
most of the time. I will ride with you again, Mrs. Um, Sadler, if you will ride with me. Right, well, Maybe. if you like for the video <laughs> you prove and you can handle down yourself. below, well, it would help a lot. Say and if you haven't done it, do consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you wait around for the end screen, <laughs> last like 20 idea. seconds or so, you've you'll get two suggestions for walkthroughs okay, that, that are up on my channel. For now, though, that's pretty yeah. much it. So until next nice episode, you look after yourself, you take care. See you next time.